then I started bawling when the lights turned off and the music started playing. 16-year-old Sophia Montoya says she always felt at home on a stage, something she unexpectedly developed as she dealt with a life-changing experience. Sophia was an active eight-year-old. She loved playing basketball and playing tag until one day something happened during recess. I just, I was sitting down and then I just passed out. They saw my um, lips and face turning blue. She suffered a heart attack. So I was down for around eight minutes without good quality CPR because uh, nobody at my school was CPR or AED trained. Sophia says her school didn't have an AED and she was left waiting for emergency crews to arrive. But an off-duty officer nearby heard the call on the radio and came to help. Sophia was flown to the hospital where doctors discovered she had a rare heart defect. She was in a coma for five days, hooked up to a ventilator. As soon as she woke up, she faced a new set of challenges, like learning how to do basic tasks. I had to walk around the my hospital floor with a walker. I had to relearn how to tell time, how to count. Through this journey, she's developed a desire to find ways to help others. Sophia and her mom joined the American Heart Association in Washington, D.C. this week to lobby lawmakers to push for plans to get AEDs at schools. An AED, which stands for an automated external defibrillator, is used to help those experiencing sudden cardiac arrest. It is all about providing funding for schools so they can afford AEDs. And AEDs are around, you know, 1,200 to 3,000. Um, and you have to keep the maintenance up for them. Sophia says she plans to continue being an advocate for heart patients while pursuing a performing arts career. No, I... I have a purpose to be here because that I was I was lucky using my what happened to me as a reason to push forward and as a reason to start working hard. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.